You also because worry, but you, you came out and made statements. If you're not worried, your people made statements saying that, you know, that uh, they are trying to use uh, the infrastructure of transportation to manipulate the Yeah, electors. infrastructure of transportation. Yes. We saw that drivers were, drivers union people yes. were being forced to take uh, stickers. Mm. It is they. Mm. To the extent that we had that people were hostile to them mm. at some loading base yes. outside the state. As far as I'm concerned, I don't, first, I don't think it is right that they should be forced to take uh, uh, posters mm. of any of the candidates unless they voluntarily choose to do. But all that don't matter to me because it is the people. Don't let us forget, it is the people the more you do some of these so-called incubacy things, the more you anger the people. Are you talking from your own experience? Because people said that you, uh, uh, people said that you, you used uh, forces of, well, of the party to get yourself into office, and uh, that is why you didn't fulfill your full term, and um, Fire Me had to take over, and then. There was also stories of violence, Idodi, and uh, uh, the story of Mr. Momo, or Dr. Momo, who was stripped naked in, uh, in your hometown, and uh, women, women protesting naked. You know all those stories as well. Let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you. You have only one, one indices to show that all those were propaganda of lies that had no basis. No criminal is ever loved. No criminal is ever loved. A criminal can be feared, but they are never loved. If a man is revered more than a decade after, mm. it means he is genuinely loved. He is not feared. And fear is out of it. Love is in place. So that will tell you that all they were saying were just lies, were just lies, propaganda. And some of them today, Ekiti people know the truth. They know that I won elections back to back, twice, without any blemish. Well, the courts. Yeah, the that. courts are another thing. The courts are not, look, the courts are either about technicalities or they are about evidence. Yes. Or both. Or both. The, the courts did not say that, in the first instance, the courts did not say that I did anything infringing. They said the election uh, accreditation sheets were ticked in red. Yes. And tick the red is not my problem. I didn't supply the red pens. Your, 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 the, the, I like that your people did. No, no, my people could not have supplied. You see, <laughs> this, are, this is the work of propaganda, my brother. My people could not have supplied. I, I wish my people supplied and made some money. So who did it? Uh, the contractors of IMEC supplied the red pens to INEC, the red bios. They supplied them to INEC. Interesting that um, when uh, Fire Me was uh, in office as governor, somehow both of you had a good relationship, even were on his side when he was seeking re-election. Re uh, can you tell me, can you track your relationship with uh, fire me because it has been like uh, uh, we are we're embracing today, tomorrow we are on the other side. No, like, like now you are not on this on the same page. The new PDP was there at the inception as one of the founding parties of the APC. And I was there. So it means we are we are together. And me, Olusha Goni, anywhere I am, I work diligently. My diligence should never be in doubt anywhere I am. If I'm not going to be there, I will say I'm not going to be there. 
So I was there, and I worked diligently. And Coyote and everybody knows that I work diligently. Of course, the party now made me deputy national chairman, and I will still say I'm very grateful to Ashwaju and Baba Kode because they were the ones who nominated me. I didn't print a single poster. Mm. And I tried to justify that confidence by working extra hard to ensure that I make my contributions to the APC. And it's there for everybody to see. If anybody wants to challenge, they can. And so that is the basis of what you see. Uh, yes, when we are together, we are together. When we are together, I fought on his side. Mm -hmm. I fought not for my own benefits. When the fighting was for his benefits, I fought. And there are sensational stories I don't have to tell about the extent I went to fight for him. So, it is not personal. But where we are. We're fighting for the cause. Yeah, we fight for the cause that we believe in. Mm. What of fire share? Because you also moved it. You moved to his party. Yeah, fire share. <laughs> whenever circumstances bring us together, we work together. And I, I don't trade in sensations. I don't trade in sensations. Now, what is, what is wrong with Nigerian politics that you can just move from one place to the other and feel at home? You know, you've, you've gone, you run the whole gamut, as I said earlier. You've been ACN, PDP, APC, SDP. Maybe if there's another party now, they can, if you want labor, they can see and embrace you. It looks like our parties have no core. Take the political parties as they are now. I, the joke I crack is that it's not more than a relationship at the Premier League, Premier League uh, situation <laughs> where you wear a jersey today and you find yourself playing against the party you yeah, play. When you, when, you, when you wear the jersey, when they give you the jersey, you go to the town yeah. and you say you always wanted to play for this team. That is the best team. <laughs> Then they give you money again and they go to another team. I say, oh, in fact, this is the real thing. I say, you guys will say, you go all of it, you know? Yeah, but it's, uh, right now, where we are, where we are, the level at which we are, uh, it's just a little higher than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are not yet in the iron cast mood. We hope our democracy will get there, but it is not there. And reality is what we have to live with. And so that's the reality. So democracy is more about persons than about ideas or about systems. It is about ideas, it is about systems, as well as it is about persons. The <laughs> Kitty people know what they want. Yeah. And if you are not giving them, you are not giving them, and they don't want to keep quiet. They must be heard. And democracy everywhere means that people have to be heard. And that's what they are doing. And that is what I'm riding on. I can tell you, yes, we are new. Yes, in the eyes of some people, they may believe we don't have any structure or whatever. But we are on top because the people are the ones running this deal. So you think you are going to win? By God's grace, we are going to win. We are on the, we are on the road to success. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for spending your time to, to talk about your candidacy and the politics of Ekiti. It's thank been you a very pleasure. Much.